Bloomberg Mox Plant Part 2. The U.S. government even had a ready customer for the rods. Charlotte based Duke Energy. one of the largest nuclear power companies in the U.S. Signed on as a buyer from 2005 to 2008, the company ran tests of MOX fuel the Department of Energy got from France. Fuel worked fine. Almost seven years after construction began, the MOX plant is now 60% built. But it's looking increasing. Likely, it won't ever be completed. Though the government has successfully converted weapons-grade uranium into nuclear fuel for commercial use, doing the same with plutonium is proving to be more complicated. The Mox plant in South Carolina requires 85 miles of pipe, 23,000 instruments, 3.6 million linear feet of power cables. Oh, here's a shocker. Project is vastly over budget. The DOE has sunk about six billion, five billion into it so far. And estimates it will cost an additional six to seven billion to finish the plant. Plus an additional twenty billion or so. It'd be about twelve cents to turn plutonium into fuel over 15 years. It's 2015, in its 2015 budget, request released in March, the DOE announced it will place the MOX project on cold standby, which I have read an article from ENR a lot more technical onto YouTube here. Let's see. Effectively mothballing the project for the foreseeable future. Okay. And then the rest of it goes on and on and on about, uh, you know, cost overruns and usual blah, blah, blah.